Okay, here let's look at solving a system of three linear equations with three variables. Let's look at using our TI-84 calculator to enter the system into a matrix and then use the calculator itself to uh, complete the solve process in one step. Um, in other words, we're going to use our calculator and the R, R, E, F feature. And remember this stands for reduced row echelon form. So our first step is to enter this uh, matrix into our calculator. And we'll do that by hitting the second matrix key. And you'll notice three columns here, names, math, and edit. And we're going to be switching back and forth between these three as we work on this particular application. Our first step, though, is we want to edit our first matrix, matrix A, by putting in the corresponding augmented matrix. So I'm going to edit matrix A, come down and press Enter. We want to note the size of our matrix, three equations, three unknowns. We have a system with uh, three rows and four columns, and so that would be a three by four matrix. Notice it zero fills all the entries, and I'm just going to continue to enter in the same matrix that I saw earlier, um, just the coefficients only though. So that would be one, negative one, five, and negative six for the first row. That gives me my first equation. The second equation would be three x plus three y minus one z equals ten. And the third equation would be one x plus 3y plus 2z equals 5. And you notice you can scroll back and forth between the different entries here. Uh, it would be beneficial to at least run through this once as a check and make sure that you put all the entries into the matrix correctly, and that's what I'm doing right now. Okay, good. So our matrix has been entered correctly. To actually put it into reduced row echelon form, we would have to exit out of the matrix menu, and so that will be second quit. Now notice I'm back in the entry edit screen. Now the crazy thing is I'll have to go back into the matrix menu, and this time I'm going to tell it to perform the reduced or perform row operations to put the matrix into reduced row echelon form. So that's a math operation. So I'll use the right arrow to scroll over to math. And then I can either scroll all the way down through the entire list until I hit RREF or shortcut. Since this particular function is close to the bottom of the list, I'm going to scroll up to get to the bottom of the list. So there we go. Notice that's actually option B, R, R, E, F, reduced row echelon form. Press enter. Now I'm back on the entry edit screen, and it's sitting waiting for me to tell it what matrix to put into reduced row echelon form. So here we go. We've got to go back into matrix, second matrix. This time, I'm going to stay on the Names menu, and I'm going to pull out the name of our first matrix here, which is A. So I can leave the highlighted entry right where it is. Click Enter. This tells me I'm going to put matrix A into reduced row echelon form. Um, don't have to do this, but I'm going to do it just for um, everybody's sake to be consistent. The function RREF, we need to close the parenthesis there. Press Enter. Now notice what's happened is it's taken our three by three row by four column matrix and put it into reduced row echelon form, which means I can pop out the solutions then of x equal one, y equal two, 
and z equal negative 1. So here we can see the solution would be the ordered triple 1, 2, negative 1. And I said by REF here to note that we solved this system using our calculator and the REF function. We could plug in a 1 for x, a 2 for y, and a negative 1 for z, and would have to work in all three equations. We could say then that this system is consistent because it has at least one solution. And we can say it's independent because it has at most one solution.